provide some context for the Jello authoring tool demonstration, we're employing the use case of electronically managing the prior authorization of a medicine. There are three basic components to utilizing Jello and prior authorization. Authoring the Jello expression using content from the structured product label and other sources of clinical information. Embedding those Jello expressions in clinical guidelines using a guideline authoring tool. And three, processing the Jello enabled prior authorization criteria set at the point of care and adjudicating the PA request with the payer or pharmacy benefit manager or PBM. We will now go over each of these steps in greater detail. Today, the FDA and pharmaceutical manufacturers jointly developed the Structured Product Label, or SPL, including a highlights section, which draws attention to the portions of the label that are considered to be the most clinically relevant. An XML version of the SPL is posted for public use through the National Library of Medicine's Daily Med website, which publishes the drug label in HTML and provides a link back to the FDA's repository of the official version in PDF format. One possible scenario for creating Jello expressions would be to use the SPL as a source for clinical criteria. Note that an analogous process would be conducted for criteria coming from other sources, such as clinical trials, expert panels, and other sources of clinical evidence. Next, a regulatory clinical guideline or terminology organization uses the open source Jello expression authoring tool to encode SPL XML files coming from the FDA the Jello Expression Authoring Tool uses standardized terminologies to encode relevant sections of the SPL and links these expressions to national drug codes, NDCs, RX norm codes, and other identifiers as needed. The authoring tool is informed by an HL7 Virtual Medical Record or VMR information model to aid in defining the data sets and terminologies that will be used in authoring the query. The creators of the Jello expressions then send them to the FDA and the drug manufacturer for final confirmation that they accurately represent the contents of the structured product label. In addition to the PDF, HTML, and XML formats of the SPL currently posted by the National Library of Medicine, we propose that the Jello encoded expressions that have been derived from the structured product label and have been certified as computational equivalents of the clinical criteria found in the SPL by the FDA or other authoring entities could be embedded within the SPL XML files and sent to the National Library of Medicine to be posted for public access via the Daily Med website. Once the SPL embedded with Jello Expressions is available online, the National Library of Medicine can send alerts to anyone who is registered to receive them. Organizations with expertise in particular fields would then utilize a clinical guideline authoring tool to define, develop, and test computable clinical guidelines to ensure they match human readable guidelines. Our demonstration will be using InfraMed's Arezzo Clinical Decision Support Tool to author the guideline, though any authoring tool capable of executing Jello expressions could be used. Expressions not found in any repository may be created as part of the guideline authoring process and added to an expression repository at a later time. The Clinical Guideline Authoring Tool provides three levels of functionality. First, the author defines a clinical guideline in human-readable form, while ensuring consistency in logic and structure. Second, the author develops the defined clinical guideline in computer-readable form, downloads Jello encoded expressions that apply to the guideline from certified repositories, and integrates these Jello encoded expressions into the clinical guideline. Third, the author tests the computable Jello encoded clinical guidelines in four business use cases to ensure that the guideline behaves appropriately in safety critical situations or in situations where the guideline is applied incorrectly or written incorrectly, and to ensure that the guideline rules are executing correctly. With the successful execution of test scripts, the Jello enabled clinical guidelines are then certified for use in healthcare. These tested and approved Jello encoded clinical guidelines are stored in repositories for use by payers, PBMs, and product vendors as templates for clinical decision support and PA criteria sets. Note that by creating Jello expressions from multiple clinical sources, including the SPL, and making these available through repositories, the same Jello expressions can be repurposed for other uses, including clinical decision support, active surveillance, clinical trial recruitment, and protocol authoring, and other uses. 
This final section details the steps that involve the development, distribution, and processing of payer-specific prior authorization criteria sets. Payers and PBMs can now use the Jello encoded clinical guidelines as templates for their customized PA criteria sets, applying their drug benefit plans to the guidelines, and adding payer-specific rules as appropriate. These payer-specific PA criteria sets are made available to prescribers at the point of care through their product vendor e-prescribing systems. The Jello enabled PA processing tool acts as a processing hub between the prescriber and payer or PBM to automate functions related to completing and transmitting a drug PA. In our demonstration, we use a mock-up version of a PA processing tool, but these tools could be developed by product vendors either as a standalone tool, a tool linked to the e-prescribing system, or designed as an integrated module within an e-prescribing system. When a prescriber wishes to prescribe a drug requiring prior authorization, the tool executes Jello-enabled PA queries against e-prescribing and electronic health record clinical data repositories for that patient. The tool returns the query responses to the PA processing tool and populates the drug PA request submission form with data retrieved from patient data sources. It then prompts the prescriber to fill in any required PA data that are not available from electronic data sources. The tool then prepares the transaction sets to transmit the drug PA request via X12 and HL7 messaging standards. Approvals, denials, and requests for more information are exchanged, and the PA request approval is sent to the pharmacy along with the prescription. The many details of these last few transactions are beyond the scope of this demonstration. We're leveraging a number of other open source projects in developing this one. To name just a few, we're using Subversion as our source code repository system for the development environment. MySQL is our relational database. Apache is running as our web server. By taking advantage of existing open source software, we're able to accelerate our development cycle while reducing our total costs. One last thing, we're not trying to say that Jello is the end-all and be-all solution for healthcare. We've actually tried to stay fairly agnostic about choosing an expression language. Jello seems to be the best fit, though we know it has limitations. The important thing is to choose one and take it as far as we can. If another more suitable lingua franca becomes available, we can move to that language standard instead. I hope you've enjoyed the tour and see why we're excited about the potential of creating a common approach to clinical queries. All that's left now is for you to join in the fun. For more information on how to get involved, please contact us at info at jello.org or visit our website at www.jello.org. Thanks for listening. Together we can change the world, but no measure of passion or strength can prevail. If we go it alone, we will surely fail. That's why I say HL7 is the way to break the walls down. Get connected now, charge it up, make it go. Flip the switch, let it flow. Send the message there. I hope you've enjoyed the tour and see why we're excited about the potential of creating a common approach to clinical queries. All that's left now is for you to join in the fun. For more information on how to get involved, please contact us at info at jello.org or visit our website at www.jello.org. Thanks for listening. Together we can change the